A Wairarapa woman who travelled the equivalent of 12 times around the world to be on a drug trial has been granted compassionate, compassionate use of the drug for the rest of her life at a hospital just five minutes from home. Alison Locke, who suffers from the incurable degenerative Pompe disease, had flown to Auckland and Brisbane once a fortnight for five years as part of a medical trial run by drug company Biomarin. But when that trial was cancelled, without notice last year, the mother of two was facing a really bleak future. At $500,000 per patient per year, Pharmac had deemed the drug way too expensive. But then, out of the blue, without any discussion, a rival drug company stepped in. Well, I got a phone call on Friday, late afternoon, from our doctor in Auckland saying that we um, had been granted humanitarian use of the medicine that we've been waiting for for years. And it's just fabulous news. Who granted you it? Who was the humanitarian who granted it? Well, it was Genzyme Sanofi. It's the drug company that makes this drug. Uh, they didn't have to give it to us. But um, we were turned down again by Pharmac in January and they just said, well, we have to help you. So, Alison, you were part of a trial for a different drug that did the same thing with a different company. That trial ended, and as we discussed on Checkpoint previously, it ended in the most unsentimental terms. It, um, you were just cut adrift, basically. We were, yeah. And, and, your, and your prognosis was terrible, wasn't it? It is. It is without this medication, yes. And another drug company has stepped up and said, we have a similar product and you can have it on humanitarian grounds, compassionate grounds. That's right. Out Isn't of the blue. wonderful? Yep. It's extraordinary. Yeah, yeah. Oh, just, we're just over the moon about it. Absolutely. And so previously, how many times did you go to Brisbane for treatment? We've discussed this on Checkpoint before. How many times have you left the white it up and gone across the Tasman for treatment? I can't remember how many times it was exactly, but it was three years every fortnight every fortnight for three and then i went to auckland every fortnight for a year and a half and to florida for six months but i stayed there that was at the beginning so five years all up of traveling of almost constant travel of almost yeah. constantly coming and going yep and now i can get this medication compassionately at my local hospital which is less than five minutes up the road and your local and hospital. I can't believe that, it. <laughs> no, no, it's yeah. uh, it's it's kind of it is kind of unbelievable. I know. It's, I don't know if it hasn't. I don't know if it's sunk in really. So your local hospital's Masterton, is it? Yes. Yes. So you've because previously so you've previously five minutes from my house. Yeah, it's lovely. <laughs> so you've previously gone to Auckland, Florida, and Brisbane. Brisbane yeah. so many times that in fact there was an estimate that you've done travelled millions of k's yeah. in total. Yeah. And now you get to drive to the local hospital, get a drug from another company that you've never dealt with for, before who's yeah. giving it to you for free. That's right. <laughs> it's ridiculous, isn't it? Yeah. And it, oh, yes, I, I, I haven't got enough thanks I, or, or the words to, to say how grateful I am for this. You know, and it's not just me. There's three others getting it too. There's, there's 10 patients in New Zealand now. Unfortunately, we lost one over the holidays. Um... Lost but, one, so they so yes. whilst they were waiting for treatment, they died. They did, yeah. As a result of their condition. Of Pompeii disease, yeah. yeah. Respiratory failure due to Pompeii disease. He was one of the founding members of our of our New Zealand Pompeii network, so he was our vice president. He was only 54, John. So he died waiting for Pharmac to step up. Was he on the Biomarin trial? He was, yeah. So he was cut adrift too, you know. So he would have been eligible for this um, generous offer from Genzyme, but unfortunately he didn't make it. And, and, and what's in it for the drug company as far as you're aware? Are you part of a trial? Is this, I mean obviously they'll be studying the efficacy and if it's really outstanding they'll want to publish that and inform people, but is that it? That's the quid pro quo, is it? Yes, well this isn't a trial now, this is, this is the medication that's been around for over 10 years. That 76 other countries get, I must add, um, and out of all the OECD countries, there's only Austria, Iceland and New Zealand who don't give it to their citizens. Um, so really, um, no, we don't have to to meet any criteria or, or, you know, be able to show that we can run a marathon at the you know, every six months to be able to stay on it. Uh, 
rather just giving it compassionately, uh, you know, without the strings. When do you start taking it? When's your first dose? It should be next month. In Mar it should be any, you know, within the next few weeks. Five minutes from home. Yeah. <laughs> Isn't that weird? You should come down. <laughs> we'll have a party. <laughs> Alison Locke, what extraordinary news, completely out of the blue.